Good morning to you all. Welcome to Rhapsody of Reality. Today is Tuesday, 16th of July 2024. And today's topic is conviction is important. Before we start this beautiful morning, let's pray together. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We appreciate you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your help from above this morning. And thank you, Father, for waking us up healthy and strong. Thank you for your divine life that is at work in us. Thank you for your word we are about to receive this morning. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome to Rhapsody of Reality. And the topic is conviction is important. First Thessalonians 1 5 says, For our pre preaching of the glad tidings, the gospel came to you not only in word, but also in his own inheritance power and in the Holy Spirit and with great conviction and absolute sanctity on our part. You know what kind of men we proved ourselves to be among you for your good. In 1989, a young lady who had attended our service for only a few months was asked, what is the message of Pastor Chris? Her response was profound and insightful. She said the divine life and she was right. She gave the response having severally witnessed by conviction of the gospel. It has been decades, yet the message has remained the same. It is a message I have lived and taught, a reality that has permitted every aspect of my life. How did I come about this? Well, it is because I believe in Jesus Christ. When you believe in Jesus Christ, you should believe with all your heart. There has to be oneness with him. It's truth. Praise the Lord. He's not given to us to debate. His truth is given to us to accept as the holy truth. In John 14, 6, the Lord Jesus himself declared, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He left no room for that, debate or speculation. He equivocally stated, No man comes to the Father but by me, affirming his exclusivity as man's king's mass redeemer, meditator, and savior. Paul reiterates the same truth in 1 Timothy 2, verse 5 to 6. For there is one God and one mediator between God and man. The man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. Jesus is the truth. Everything you will ever know about God and from God is in Jesus. He is the embodiment of his wisdom and knowledge. Colossians 2 verse 3 says, In whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. He is the embodiment, the totality of divinity. Colossians 1.19 says, says for it has places for the father that all the divine fullness the sum total of the divine perfection powers and attributes should dwell in him permanently this has to become real to you it has to become your truth it has to become your gospel your personal message it has to become your absolute conviction something for which you rather die than deny or turn away Praise to Lord. Hallelujah. Conviction is important. Praise to Lord. And if you don't study the Bible, if you don't understand who Jesus is to you, you can't have that conviction in your spirit. Praise to Lord. But when you understand the love of the Father, the death on the cross of Calvary, who Jesus is to you, who God is to you, then the conviction comes. Praise the Lord. And you want to preach the gospel because you don't want to stop. You want people to understand this truth. Because the truth is liberation. Hallelujah. He liberates you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that is our message. That is our message all the time. Helping people to understand who they are in Christ Jesus. So with that being said, let's take the prayer and confessions together. Dear Father, Thank you for the unwavering truth of your word embodied in Jesus Christ. I embrace this truth with absolute conviction, allowing it to permit every aspect of my life. I stand firm in faith, unshaken by doubt or debate. 
and I declare that your truth is my guiding light in all things. I boldly proclaim the gospel with absolute sanctity, knowing that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. For that study, you can look at John 14, verse 5, 6 to 9, Romans 1 16, and Art 4 12. When your Bible reading plan, you can look at Art 24, verse 1 to 27, and Psalm 1 to 6. To your Bible reading plan, Galatians 4, verse 21 to 31, and Isaiah 36. So at your leisure time, you can go through the scriptures, and you'll be indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining in this morning. God bless you. I trust you'll be blessed by today's devotional. And if you're here, you've not given your life to Christ, this is an opportunity for you to do so. All you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have everlasting life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. And if you repeat this beautiful prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are now a child of God. All you have to do is read your Bible, get to know God is who Jesus is and who the Holy Spirit is to you. Bombard yourself with faith with messages such like this. And look for a believing church and worship for growth. What a great time we had this morning. Please subscribe to my channel on your notification bell. So anytime I upload a video like this, you'll be first to be notified. And please share this video. God bless you as you follow instruction this morning in Jesus' name. Before we go, let's pray. Father, we thank you. Thank you for your word that blesses our heart. And thank you for giving us the strength to live for you, O Lord. Thank you for your righteousness that is in us. And thank you, Father, for your blessings that had no sorrow. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. You have a great day. See you same time tomorrow by the grace of God. God bless you. Bye-bye.